Hey everybody, welcome back to my channel. It's Theoni with Thrifty Divas and I'm here with a, I believe, relatively small Dollar Tree haul for everyone today. Hard for me to tell. I have no concept of anything. This is the first of two videos that I'm going to sit here and film back to back. So again, if you see me in the same location looking exactly the same, you'll know why. This is my recording chunk um, for the maybe week I don't know hi guys before we jump into today's Dollar Tree haul I just wanted to quickly tell you about this awesome website that I've linked up with it's called bellily.com I'll put it right here and I just want to show you some of the awesome things that they have they have everything from clothing to accessories to home goods to purses to shoes I mean just everything so I just want to show you some of the things that I picked up and I'll even do a little bit of a try on here for you very quickly and uh, good news I do have a discount code for you as well if you use code Theoni that's me you'll get 10% off of any order that you place with them and that coupon code is good until New Year's Eve of this year so I just want to show you some of the awesome things that they have we'll even take a quick scroll right here while I'm getting these things out of some of the things on their website and they do have a plus size section they do have a whole section for leopard print um, so one of the things that I chose was this gorgeous a plus size swimsuit this color block swimsuit with this awesome hot pink stripe I love that. I love it. It's very retro to me and reminds me of my 80s stuff. Uh, another thing that I picked up was this little like tunic dress. Isn't that so adorable? I just love that. And I don't really have anything like that. So absolutely perfect. Fair prices, super fast shipping. I was very, very excited got a couple more shirts to show you here. Look at this gorgeous one. I think this is my absolute favorite item that I picked out. And then I'm quickly going to show you two different leopard print cardigans that I picked up. So one is in this kind of rainbow color. And it is a short sleeve beautiful cotton feeling cardigan and the next one is in the traditional leopard print color this one is a three-quarter length sleeve three-quarter sleeve it's got a slit on the sides a little bit not all the way up but just a little bit. You know I love this. To go with all of this amazing stuff, I actually got two different size straw purses. So the first one is this gorgeous round one with this braided straw handle. Awesome crossbody. It's got a great zipper there. And it's got a tassel that hangs out. This is so on trend right now. So boho, absolutely gorgeous. So you have this little one. Then I even got more of like a beach bag or a day out. Look at this huge, supple, oversized straw tote with leather look handles and this really nice cut on the top. Huge. And then on the inside, you got a little side pocket here, if you can see that. And best part of all, this zips up for you too, so your stuff doesn't fall out. But how cool, this is so, so beautiful. And it looks like a million bucks. And then they even have things for the house. So look at what I picked up. You can get these individually or you can get the two-piece set. And I got the two-piece set. They are these little stained glass look window hangers with birds. Aren't these amazing? This one comes with the chain for you right here. 
These are so absolutely pretty, so pretty. And here is its smaller counterpart, which also comes with the chain for you to put on. Such amazing, amazing finds. Go check them out, bellily.com. And of course, if you're gonna order, use your code Theoni to get yourself 10% off. And that's gonna be good for you to make a decision or for your Christmas gifts until New Year's Eve. And now, back to the haul. So I have broken everything down into category for you and we are just going to jump right in. Again, pretty small, I feel like. A couple of mini categories. Let me start off with toys. I only have two items. The first item I found was this desktop bowling. I thought that looked super cool for us to mess around with. Let's take a little peek at this and see what we're working with. Oh, that is super cute. So that's what you got here. <laughs> you got the little lane. You got your pin set up. You got your little baby pins and a little like giant BB of a bowling ball. So that's cute. That's just cute for some fun. The next toy item I have, I showed these in the walkthrough. These are by Universal Illumination Minions Rise of Gru. And there are so not distributed by Greenbrier. There are four of them and I picked up all four. We have Bob, Kevin, Stewart, and Otto. So this one is Otto. This one is Bob. Bob is my favorite because of the little teddy bear. And then we have Stewart. And Kevin. Kevin is a whole mood, whole mood. And that is it for toys. So let's move on. Next, I'm gonna move on to the book stationery, jot, that whole aisle. And the first thing, um, little man was with me. So he picked up this Ocean Creatures book, although I feel like we may have it, but he says we don't. So it's this Ocean Creatures book distributed by Greenbrier. And it's just got some fun facts. And if you've heard me say in previous hauls, like sea creatures and all that is one of his new obsessions, one of his many. They don't replace each other, they just get added on. Uh, next, these were a wish list item. This is the ink metallic ink pens. So I have gotten the markers before and whatever else they have come up with, but now they're pens. There's two different color combinations. I picked them both up and they allege it's metallic ink they allege. Now, if you know me at all, and you are a subscriber to the channel, you know my love of the black post-it in general. So that's what I was thinking, and we are going to find out together if they work. So I'm going to open both of these up, and in the meantime, while we're at it, let me also show you what I picked up these were just right next to it so this is the jot four pack of gel pens they look like milky color gel pens and there's like a color progression so i was thinking that for the black post-its as well i'm always looking for writing utensils for the black post-its i have several varieties but i just like to have as many as possible to make it easier as possible so we're gonna go ahead and try these we don't have to try all of them but i just want to see so it has the little wax. Okay. So this one is the gold and then there's also a rose gold. So let's go ahead and try the gold. I feel like this is our best shot to begin with. That works. All right. That's the gold takes longer with these little wax things. Okay. They work. Let's see how this one does. This like dark graphite looking one. Oh, this one doesn't even like write well. Not bad. This one's a little skippy, but 
Let's see. Not bad. Yeah, not bad at all. And what's the last one? This should be good. This like turquoise one. Not bad. All right, let's try our milky ones. We don't have to try all of them because if one works, they'll all work. I don't really like it. I mean, oh, okay, hold on. I feel like it takes a minute, see that? It takes a minute to get going. It's kind of blotchy. These are just not good pens in general. <laughs> not on, it has nothing to do with the paper. You see how they're so skippy? I don't know, not my favorite, but uh, but these were pretty dang cool. So I might grab a couple more packs of that. Not the milky ones though. All right, continuing on, I showed these in the walkthrough as well. This is this uh, five fluid ounce washable safe non-toxic elmer's color changing glue great for slime it says yellow to red just add sunlight so i thought that was pretty stinking cool to play around with and then they also have this which is a six fluid ounce this is elmer's classic glitter glue make your mark write an explosion of color and shine just fun to have in the stash great price six ounces for a dollar and i believe the last item in the that whole aisle that we've been doing are these that i showed in the walkthrough these are unison easy view binder pouches clear view fits three ring binders and durable they are not distributed by greenbrier i love the pocket because I like clear pouches, but these are the best of both worlds. Vinyl, metal grommet, and not distributed by Greenbrier, and you can see through them. So I got one for my husband for his backpack during the school year when he's driving the school bus. He always has stuff with him, and I thought that was great because you couldn't see through it. Uh, I got a couple for my husband and little man to share. I ended up getting every color. So we have, that was black. We have lime green here, red, dark blue. I just want to show you. Really, really cool. Really cool. Um, and then for me, I got like for whatever makeup and stuff or even pens. You know how many like bags I have with like pens and markers, but of course you have to like go in them to see which collection it is, you know? It'd be great to switch them all out, but I'll never do that. Um, but yeah, pink and purple for me, for pens or makeup. All right, that's it for that aisle. Now we're gonna move on to food and drink. First thing I picked up, I showed these in the walkthrough as well. I got two of these 25.4 fluid ounce Monster Hydro. This is the zero sugar one. Um, so this is just like hydration. Um, it does have energy though, because it says purified water helps reduce fatigue, energy drink helps increase concentration of vitamins B3 and B6. Um, so I don't know. And uh, if anybody's interested, because I know I get comments asking me all the time, uh, the sweetener looks like sucralose. And it does have taurine and caffeine in it, unfortunately. It's a little, it's a little uh, counterintuitive on the hydration there, but anyway, I've got two of those. Uh, all right, next, I'll do these two items together. So my stepfather's birthday is uh, in the beginning of this month. Wow, I was going to say July, but we're now in July. Um, and he picked out his menu. He picked out his drinks. He wants me to make pineapple mojitos. I've mentioned that in another video. And then he wants like, like U10 shrimp or U1 shrimp, whatever they're called, giant, giant shrimp. He wants me to make him shrimp cocktail out of those shrimp. And he wanted like tomahawks and stuff. So he's got, you know, the man knows what he wants. So we're doing it for him. And um, I'm gonna make him homemade French fries and 
um, like deep fried homemade French fries to go with the steaks. I think I'm going to make a, um, a Bernays sauce to go with the steak as well. And I decided I'm going to make him lobster mac and cheese too. My mom is a like lacto ovo pescatarian. So the more options we have for her, fine. And she'll eat the lobster mac and cheese. So I'm going to obviously have to go like food shopping, food shopping, but I just picked up whatever since I was there, I actually got five packs. But that is so not cost effective, but whatever. I got five packs of the Velveeta cheese sauce for the lobster mac and cheese. And I couldn't decide if this was a good idea or not. I don't know, but I'm going to use this rotini for the lobster mac. I think it'll be fine, but I got that. So those two items go together for the lobster mac and cheese. Obviously, I have to buy a lot more things for it. It's not just going to be these Velveeta cheese packs. Then I'm also making his birthday cake, which is going to be my peanut butter chocolate cake, which there is a video like last summer or two summers ago. Anyway, um, so I bought a couple things for that. I just picked up two of these jars of peanut butter uh, compared to Jif. These are 10 ounces. I don't see a brand in here at all. This is distributed by Greenbrier and it's made in the usa but i got two of those for the cake and um i'm actually going to make it a little more deluxe than i normally do this time normally it's just chopped up reese's peanut butter cups in the middle and on top but i'm going to go a little fancier this time so i did buy i did buy um three of these packs of the five count reese's peanut butter cups to chop up but then i also got one pack of the white i thought that might be just fun to chop up for the top a little bit of a different look and they had these which i don't even recall them ever having these so that was super cool i got two packs of these these are little tiny bags of reese's pieces and that's so cute so i got that to sprinkle on top too that'll definitely make it look more fun and festive and they're also delicious so that's all for his cake then these were a repurchase. I really, really, really liked these. Um, this is the Cars Sweet and Salty Mix, six ounce bag, and you get peanuts, raisins, fake M&Ms basically, and sunflower seeds, and it's really, really good. So I picked up more of those. Then I showed these in the walkthrough as well. A uh, new flavor of Premier Protein showed up for me, so that is a blueberries and cream. This is Premier Protein with oats which means that contains seven grams of additional fiber for you, 20 grams of protein, one gram of sugar, and 150 calories. I've been putting these in overnight oats. Um, also like the, just the caramel ones or the chocolate ones, anything that we were finding at Dollar Tree, I've been using these in overnight oats. It adds sweetness without adding the sugar and it adds tons of protein. So it's like really cool, win-win. So yeah, I picked up those. I was thinking overnight oats on those as well. Then for the pineapple mojitos, if you've been following my journey, I finally found the pineapple juice. I did, I did. It took way too long, but I found it. And it didn't matter because I have to go to a supermarket. Like I would have gotten it, but I was just happy to finally find it. <laughs> then I picked up a couple of these. These looked really cool too. This has a pH of 8.4. This is Icelandic glacial natural spring water from Iceland. It is 16.9 fluid ounces. It is a carbon neutral product. And I just grabbed a couple of those. Then I think this is the last food item, food and drink item. Uh, I picked up a couple of these. Now they had it in the the star kiss and what's the other one i want to say bushwick but that's brooklyn i don't think that's what it's called <laughs> the other one i showed them in the walkthrough anyway they had the ranch flavor in both of the brands but i picked up the star kiss because it actually is slightly larger in weight like slight like nothing like a third of an ounce more whatever i don't know but my eye just always gets the bigger one. So this is the Star Kissed uh, tuna salad snacks with the crackers, and this is the ranch flavor. So I thought that would be yummy. All right, that's it. Let's move on to the next category, which is health and beauty, I guess. 
uh, not too much today, not too much. First thing, I picked up this Per Cara 18 fluid ounce bubble gum kids fluoride rinse. I know everybody has their own opinions on fluoride, but I do what my son's dentist tells me to do, which is a fluoride rinse. So there it is. Um, okay. Then I picked these up. I feel like these are new, I'm not sure. But I got these for our trip just in case to have and I like the fact that they're little packs. So it's a one tablet dose, but you get two packets of one pill in here. This is Advil Allergy and Congestion Relief. That's good. And then I got this to bring on our trip too. This is the Lubricating Eye Drops Medic's Choice compared to the active ingredient in Refresh Plus. If you've never had these before, these particular ones, these are super cool and I love them. So they are single dose. You get five little single dose tubes in there. So they remain sterile and they're just single use and everything stays cleaner because you don't have to worry about the tip of the bottle touching anything because you throw this out when you're done. So I'm gonna bring that on our trip just to have and it's nice and small and light. The weight on this box is a 10th of an ounce. <laughs> That's fly friendly. Okay, then next, uh, I found these, I showed these in the walkthrough. I thought these were super interesting. This is so fresh, so clean, made for him and her. This is an astringent dynamic drying lotion with calamine. Draws out impurities to minimize the appearance of blemishes one fluid ounce and you can really see <laughs> that calamine lotion is in there right i thought it was interesting and i think this is the last item in the in health and beauty i found this hard candy syrup kiss lip stain in make out mauve oh, uh, 1767 I don't know how I feel about putting on a lip stain right now, but I'll just show you. Oh, wait, the doe foot is hot pink. The doe foot is hot pink by itself. Oh, that's so cute. Can you see that? I thought that was like the color, but no, that's the color of the doe foot. That's really cute. <laughs> it's the little things, I tell you. Oh, that's super cute. That's going to probably stay in my hand for days, but I really like that. That's a great color. Okay. Let me go ahead and wipe this off quickly. Okay. I just didn't want it to be on my hand forever. All right. So that is it for health and beauty. And now uh, let's move on to housewares, which is only like two items for me. So the first thing I got was this bottle. Um, they, they had these, I think it was last summer. They had three different colors. I showed them in the walkthrough, but I just picked up this one. I just love the color. I loved everything about it. So I picked that up. And then I grabbed two packs of these because I think these are super cool. These are the plastic ice cubes. You get 16 pieces in each little mesh bag. Isn't that great? So toss those in the freezer. You never know when you're going to need them. Um, all right, then I think that's it. Now I'm going to go down kind of the car and electronics aisle. So the first item is actually a fun finds item, but I'm going to show it to you in the car and electronics aisle because it's a phone stand. So, hey, why not? But I showed these in the walkthrough as well. There are these adorable unicorn phone stands. You have three different options there, and then it'll lean on her nose, I'm assuming. And they had it in pink hair and blue hair, both with a gold horn. Um, boring but necessary. I picked up two of these. These are distributed by Greenbrier as well, in case you were wondering. These LED light bulbs, 60 watt. I picked daylight. They have daylight and cool white or some something, warm white and warm white, I think it is. Um, and these are plastic. Got two of those. And the last item here these that i'm super duper excited about these black ice little trees sprays i don't know why they're there why are they there 
I mean, black ice is amazing. I don't know. I, I don't know. I don't care. I'm just happy about it. So yes, I got several of those. Oh, it smells so good. Why would it be there? I don't know, but thank you, Dollar Tree. Thank you, little trees. All right, next is um, Crafter Square. It's only gonna be two things. <laughs> All right, so what happened was I found them at one store and there were only two left, so I picked up the two. But then I went to another store and then that's when I, there was a full display and I noticed that there were two different kinds. Then I didn't remember what the two I got were and I thought they were the same, I don't know. So I picked up one of each when I had the full display. So what ended up happening, lucky me, I guess I picked up one of each the first time too without knowing it because I ended up now with two of each. Cool. So there's two designs. These are the um, Crafter Square Decor wooden trucks. No lights, no nothing. They're plain, um, endless possibilities, and there are in fact two designs. So you have the plain bed, And then the other kind has that wooden railing on the bed. Uh, one other difference is um, this one has a rear view mirror cut out. Whereas this one doesn't, but it has like a little uh, door lock. See that little round door lock cut out. So those are the two. And then the second and last Crafter Square item that I got is just one pack of stickers. I showed these in the walkthrough. These were too cute to pass up. This whole little nautical design, lighthouse, dolphin, lifesaver, ship's wheel, uh, anchor, compass, seagull, sailboat, and an adorable outfit for the sailboat. And the, the what's that called? Like a buoy, right? So yeah, just one pack of that, I was good. All right, and I think the very last category is just gonna be garage sale, which would be a perfect time for me to just quickly tell you what's going on without chatting too much. So if you saw my community tab post, um, my step-grandmother passed away, uh, la uh, it was it was June, June 12th um, is when she passed away. And my stepfather is the executor of her estate and he's got tons and tons and tons to do. And um, his sister who was living with his mother needs 24 hour care. So they have to, my parents have to get her um, to a facility that has 24 hour care and all this stuff. So my, my stepfather's super stressed out, as is my mom. They have to empty out her entire home and sell it and, and all this stuff. So um, they are going, um, and it's, it's about seven and a half hours up north from me uh, in upstate New York. And um, that's where my stepfather's from. That's where he grew up. And, uh, so the week they're leaving again to go up the day after my stepfather's birthday and they are coming back the day before i leave for the dominican republic and then they are leaving again the day after i get back from the dominican republic and that time they're going for at least two weeks they're planning they were going to hire an estate company an estate sale company and they charge 35 percent of the proceeds and i was like you yeah, know we're good. What are they, personal injury attorneys now? No. So my stepfather knows I was like born for this. So he asked me if there was any possible way I would be willing to go and help. It is difficult because we all took, you know, the time off to go to DR, me and my husband and stuff. Um, so anyway, but I said, yes, of course, you know, I'll do whatever I have to do to go help my husband. I'll do whatever he has to do, like take off more work to stay home with my son. I can't bring my son up there. I'll get nothing done. You guys with kids know, you already know, nothing will get done. So I'm gonna go up there um, for several days ahead of time and help them get everything ready and then hold the estate sale Friday, Saturday, Sunday, um, probably of of like that first weekend. I don't know, there's, there's like a tax law. I don't know if you knew this, occasional sales at your home is fine as long as they're not for more than three consecutive days and all this stuff, a whole bunch of stuff. 
<laughs> so three three days is good i'll do the advertising i'm gonna do like all there's like apps for it there i'm gonna do craigslist like i'm, I'm just gonna take care of everything for them and i will not charge them 35 percent. i actually won't charge them anything at all so i'll go help them do all that we'll hold the estate sale and then again, at some point, then they have to sell the house once it's empty. And then I'll have to, I'm going to go up there again uh, for the closing. Because obviously I'm going to represent them for the closing too, you know, obviously. Uh, so yeah, just, just a lot, just a lot. So I'm filming while I can, because who knows? Who knows what's going to happen, you know? You never know what's going to happen. So I know that this stuff, oh, this isn't the last category. Anyway, there's one more little one. But um, I know that this stuff goes super fast. I'm surprised there was any left to begin with. So I just grabbed whatever I could. So I grabbed two of these. These neon ones. I was just reading the instructions. I think it's super funny. It's <laughs> instructions. Write address of your garage sale in the first white space. Write day and time of your sale in the second white space. Black in the proper direction arrow tip to point to the way of your sale. I just love that there's directions on that. I think that's hilarious. So anyway, anywho, I picked up two of these. And then I picked up six, six of these. Even though it's an estate sale. I could even, I, I'll even change, I'll change it. I'll, I'll change it. Um, then I got two packs of these these little starburst uh you get 30 in each all different sizes i also have white tags with strings i already have those in my craft stash so we'll use those the white paper ones and i got five one two three five packs of these the garage sale labels 360 pieces in each so five of those so that's garage sale stuff. Okay, then the very last category, because I missed it, because it's behind me, is going to be accessories and apparel, and it's just another few things, and then we'll be done. Um, I picked up one of these. I showed these in the walkthrough. These are by Royal Deluxe Accessories. Uh, they had different colors, but I got a black one. These cute head headbands. They're like corduroy. They're so cute. Um, but they have the buttons for the mask, for the mask strap. And I got this for myself because I was thinking maybe to take pressure off of my ears for the flight for vacation because it's a little, you know, it's a little long. So as long as the headband itself is comfortable, you have to cho choose the lesser of two evils. As long as this is comfortable. Yeah, the ear straps are the buttons. Where'd the other one go? Oh, there it is. Okay. Oh, I put it on wrong. I feel it's, it's double and I, the button should be in the front one, I think. So it should go the other way. But anyway, I got that for my mask for our flight to save my ears. That kills me. Um, all right, so I got that. And then I got my son two packs of these. Uh, juncture made in Pakistan distributed by Greenbrier half cushion little uh, no-show socks three pack for a dollar that's amazing and then the very last item in this haul I got some 10 packs of disposable masks so the first one I got I saw my friends I think it was Sadie over at sweet Sadie JTV go check her out tell her if you want to send you she showed this one the leopard print one in the, in the 10 pack I hadn't seen that one before um, but my store obviously got a new shipment because I saw all designs I hadn't seen before. So I got this 10 pack. Then I got two of these 10 packs. I'm mailing one to a friend. If I ever get to that package, I am so sorry. But I keep throwing stuff in it, so at least it's getting bigger. But I got two of these tie-dye ones. Isn't that so cool? Yeah, these tie-dye masks. So I'm going to throw one in my friend's box too because that's kind of the theme of the whole thing for the most part. And that's it, guys. I always throw my hands up like I'm done on an episode of Chopped. That's it. Um, all right. You sorry if I talked so much. And now I'm going to sit here. Well, I'm going to get up and stretch my legs because I can't feel my feet. And then I'm going to uh, sit back down and I'm going to film a thrift store haul for everybody. So keep your eye out for that one too. 
If you haven't hit that subscribe button already, I would love if you would consider it and become a permanent part of the Thrifty Divas family. We would love to have you. So until the next video, stay blessed, my friends. I love each and every one of you.